WrestleMania is only a few days away, and you can watch it on the WWE Network for just $9.99. That's right, <laughs> $9.99. Carl Coulange here for the Sports Hit List, and today's segment is for all our real sports entertainment fans out there. And yes, people still watch wrestling. Joining me today are some familiar faces. For those of you who don't know, I had a previous wrestling show three years ago called the PWS, and it's a reunion show for all of us, Hollywood J. Thank you for doing the show, man. I really the appreciate it. The first Hispanic uh, to grace these seats. <laughs> <laughs> we have Ronald, Superstar Hustle. Just call me Ron. Just call Ron. Me, just what do you go me, by now? Just call you're, me you're, Ron. You're too Hollywood Ron first, is right? cool. The gimmick yeah. is dead. Ron is good enough. So how does it feel, guys, to be back together <laughs> again after, after all the years? And, you know, we, we still keep in touch, but it's still, it still ha hasn't been the same the last I got to admit, it's, it's pretty exciting. It is? I'm, I'm, I'm happy I said yes. You're happy you said yes? Yes. Wait, you said this. No, this no, 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 Yes. Did she go to Zales? This guy's like, well, <laughs> you said glad yes. I said yes. <laughs> but let's get right into it. We have WrestleMania 31 a few days away. Mm -hmm. And yes. headlining is Roman Reigns, who broke away from the Shield. He's going to face off Brock Lesnar. That's right. Brock Lesnar. The reigning, defending Brock Lesnar. What do you mean Roman is headlining? They're Roman. both headlining Roman is headlining WrestleMania. It's the story we all know that always comes true, where the guy goes from winning the Royal Rumble, he goes on to win... WrestleMania. Did that happen headlining. last year with uh, Batista? No, it didn't happen. Oh, so it doesn't Batista. always happen. It doesn't matter what. Listen, you know what the main event is. You already know what it is. Stop giving trouble, all right? So, what do you <laughs> think of the main event? What do, you, what do you guys think of the main event? And I know Ron hasn't been watching what's going on, but. Yeah, you're right. I haven't been watching. It's been about two years since I've been watching as a hardcore wrestling fan. I only watch snippets on YouTube every now and again, but I do watch the big events. And when I saw Roman Reigns at first, I'm thinking, you know, I'm, honestly, his push came too fast. I mean, he's not ready. He's only had two uh, pay-per-view matches, and now he's given the main event for WrestleMania. I mean, you got a guy like Daniel Bryan, who won last year at WrestleMania 30, and he got injured, unfortunately. But the smart thing would, would be, if I was working at the company, would say, okay, uh, injury comeback story is always good. For okay. business and the and the yes but movement is big. no disrespect, but you're not watching the product. So who's to say that you you are someone? Well, to, technically, to make, yeah, you don't watch you're the right. I don't, on a regular I don't basis. watch on a regular basis because of the rating system. It's strictly PG. It's for kids. I don't. But wait, but wait. So it's strictly for kids. I'm sorry to cut you off, but yeah. three years ago it was still PG and you're still watching. Not so, as not as PG because when CM Punk left, it's oh, it, so you it's know, about, it so, was still I was so still kind of like into so you're saying it. so it's a selective great. thing. So basically, because CM Punk left, you're not watching. No, it just it's just my. When, the way I grew up in wrestling, I grew up in the Attitude uh, Era, and that's the <laughs> era that I know, and I don't know why they would want to go back to the way things were. I mean, PG, you know, it's, it's not well, as exciting. It's less drama. Okay, it's, okay. So, I'm all about the drama and the storytelling of wrestling. I was always like that, and, you know, this, this era is just, it's just too animated for me. It's okay. fake. I feel it's fake. So you believe Daniel I mean, Bryan, to get, back to, to get back to the topic at hand, you believe Daniel Bryan should get another main event push? Again. Of course. He's like, he's, he's their bread and butter right now, aside from John Cena. But he, <laughs> he came, um, you know, he, he, he has the, the yes movement. The people okay. love it. So you're, so you're his yes man. Now, what do you think? <laughs> I'm just yes man. So, wow. What do you think of what's going on with the, Obviously, with the and you and you still watch on a consistent basis? Right. Obviously, you could tell this guy Mark. does not watch. Mark. <laughs> Mark. First Mark. of all, Roman came up in 2012. This is now 2015. What so has he for done? Anyone Can you who let him says, first of all, let him make his point. He let you make it. Anyone point, who says finish. this guy was pushed too fast clearly does not know anything because it's 2015. <laughs> this guy's been in the, in the on the main stage. For three years now, what strong. main stage are you talking about? Let, let, let him. Can you let him finish? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let he had finish, his man. run with the tag team titles, right? Oh, that's it. What do you mean that's it? That's it. What What are you expecting from the guy? Look, this guy clearly he he equates to money, right? This is the WWE is a corporation, and or Danny Bryan, it's a shame what happened to him, but it happened, right? Let's, so now you got to move okay. on. But the Yes Movement, and if, you, if you've been watching lately, you know that the Yes Movement is it's slowly have... dying. You see, but here's one thing, though. I will say, though, about Reigns, his mic skills are terrible. No, 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 he, has no he has no mic skills. And he you said it was that. ready just now. Well, and I mean, I, I, he has no mic skills. He, he has no mic skills, but no mic he skills. does have the look. Right? Look, he, doesn't he has no mic skills. He and has the look. What, what was the last wrestler that got the big push besides, I can remember, is Batista who got a push that didn't have mic skills quickly like, like Roman Reigns did, that you can say over the last few years. That had no mic skills whatsoever, and they got a quick push. Right away. 
Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, but he had a mouthpiece. But that's Brock Lesnar. You see that guy? You just say he had, had a mouthpiece. Mouth he has a mouthpiece. He had a mouthpiece. There was an exception to that. He had a mouth. He had a mouthpiece. Batista didn't. All right. Who else besides Roman? Roman Reigns has no mic skills whatsoever. That's my issue with him, honestly. You know what? There's so many rumors being thrown out there. The latest rumor is that Brock may retain, so you might be happy about that. All right. And That'd they be, may that be setting be up some sort of super feud for Dallas, Texas, where WrestleMania 32 would be setting up uh, Brock Lesnar versus The Rock next year. Okay, so here's another scenario about how about Seth Rollins cashing in no, no, on no, either no, Brock, not, not Brock or Roman Reigns. It's not happening. That, that, that could happen. I see it happening. I see it happening if Reigns wins. Because I think, personally, Seth Rollins is more ready than Reigns. Because he's been Seth built. Rollins. He's been, uh, Seth Rollins has been, has been built very, very po properly, I have to say. I've been watching the authority in him, and mm -hmm. he's gotten a lot better. And that triple threat match at, at the Rumble, I did see that so, flawless match. So your, your final predictions for Sunday for the main event? For that main event, I say, I say Seth Rollins, well, okay, maybe Seth Rollins cashes in, or... I would hope Brock Lesnar retains. I really can't give you just one. I, those are my two scenarios. Okay. So yeah. moving on, you said the authority. That leads into my next. That's a nice segue. Thank you for that, Ron. Yes, yeah, sure. It. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> All yeah. right. So the authority, Triple H versus Sting. Mm -hmm. No one ever thought they'd see Sting. Me, personally, I never thought I'd see Sting in the WWE ring. Right. Okay. So, uh, and what are your thoughts on Sting actually coming to the WWE? Now? My, I'm glad you, we're talking about this. <laughs> Sting, well, that's what we're here for. Sting, it's, it's the sports Sting service. is... I'm sorry to say this. He's too late. Too late. He came. It's one of those situations, wrong place, wrong time. Mm -hmm. The fans, the fan base today, not a lot of people know who Sting is. And I, I applaud him for, you know, being the lone survivor in WCW, going down with the ship. I, I respect that because, you know, they would, he was right. They wouldn't, WWE wouldn't know what to do with a guy like Sting. And, you know, because when you go to WWE, there's a different format that you follow. Right. So Sting wasn't down with that. He felt like his character would get watered down and he'd get fed to Triple H because when, when you think about it, Triple H, he, every WCW guy that came, he beat. He, he killed WCW single-handedly. I mean, not single-handedly. He had help, obviously, with the factions and whatnot. Okay. But Sting, you know, I just think it's too late. So. Too late. Yeah. Sting in the WWE ring. Finally, after so many years and Listen, Monday Night Wars and all when that. It, when it happened at Survivor Series, it was the coolest thing that a wrestling fan had ever seen, right? Did you like ever see? Sting <laughs> was there in WWF. It was cool to see, you right? You walked out? Yeah. I did. <laughs> I couldn't call you. You did, too. I saw I your post on this, but I, 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 I'm I'm I'll I did. admit, I, I did, did see yeah, some. But I, I do agree yeah. with Ron that it is too late for the man. This match is going to be horrible. It's going to be the worst card on the on the on the uh, worst, the match, worst on the match, match on the card. Yeah, worst yeah. match on the card. Yeah. I don't. I don't. <laughs> well, actually, you know, when I say he's too late, I'm just saying like you know, for the the fan base, like I, don't, I think he's way too late. But I right. think he could still go in the ring. But wait, they, but here's my issue. Not, not that, as but quick. You see, here's but my thing is that he's 56. Yeah. Really, 56 yeah. and Triple H is still in his mid 40s. Well, how, thank, how much can you go if you? And when was the last well, time Sting wrestled? Well, thank God Triple H's TNA. fighting TNA. style, wrestling style, is slow anyway. <laughs> The biggest yeah. beef is that they put a mic in Sting's hand, which they, they should, should not have, have done. done. Exactly. Yeah, they shouldn't have done he that. He sounds horrible in his, during his promos. He clearly, you know, still has a lot of TNA in him. Um, <laughs> it, it ruins <laughs> uh, any potential um, Undertaker Sting feud because, you know, no, no, I, 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 I wanted this like Crow version of Sting versus like, you know, the Dark well, Undertaker. Now it's like, you know, Sting is more like, uh, you, you remember the Warriors? Mm -hmm. Base, baseball Furies, he's like that version. Well, speaking yeah. of The Undertaker, you led into my next segment. See, that's why I have you guys here. You led me into the first segment, now you led me into another one. The Undertaker lo loses last year, and I think that was to me the most shocking thing in wrestling history to have him lose at, to Brock Lesnar. He's which coming he's back. Which he's fine with. Which he's fine with, but he's coming back this year to fight Bray Wyatt. Right. The let question me, is, why? Let me just say why, this for why, the record. Why? Bray Wyatt is probably one of the best guys I've seen in a while as far as character. Okay. His, his in ring is good. Um, but him, him saying that he's the new face of fear, when he says it, I believe him. Right. And I think he could possibly beat Taker. But booking, smart, the booking would say, since Taker lost last year, it's almost like a sort of Rocky Three comeback. Like, but, can he but win to me it's big matter, one again? And here's another thing, too. With, it goes back to the same thing I was saying about Sting. Can Taker actually wrestle again? He, of course. I don't think he can. His last I mean, two WrestleManias have been listen, subpar. Let's me. not talk about the last two WrestleManias. How, how about those last, really last few photos we've seen? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he those was really photos. bad. Honestly, his last real good match was at 28. 
Well, against CM Punk here, it was it was bad. Last year, Brock carried the match. So, can he go again? In his, in his age, he hasn't wrestled. He I, wrestles once a year. I think he can he go can again. Go. Yeah. Like you get you give your body a year to heal. I mean, regardless of your age, he can go. Um, to me, the smart booking would be to have Bray go over Taker, mm -hmm. and then for him to pass the torch, like the dark, you know, the right. new dark character, okay, to yeah. Bray Wyatt. Yeah. But it doesn't make sense if you're gonna have Sting versus Taker next year to right. have one of the guys lose. Right. Because we're not going to see them for a year after okay. this. Exactly. So final predictions, Taker win or Bray? I'll go with Taker. You'll go with Taker. Taker. All right, I'm going with Bray, just to call it. You, know, you guys went with Taker. Unless so. you wanted to do a triple threat next year with Bray, Taker, and Sting. No, I don't see that. They happen. both passed the dark that. that's, uh, that's torch. That's probably too. the worst booking ever. Because you're going to need somebody to, to carry that feud for the year, and Bray's the perfect we'll, guy. We'll, we'll definitely see. Another match to me that's kind of the headline, I think it's going to be the show stealer, is the Intercontinental title ladder match with all the mid-carders in there. We have um, Ron's favorite, Wade Barrett. Bad news Barrett is in that match. We have Dolph Ziggler, another one of your favorites. Daniel Bryan's in there. R-Truth. Um, Eric Rowe, is Eric Rowan in there? No. Um, Luke Harper. Luke, Luke Harper's in that match. I think so, this match is going to steal the show. What it's a, it's a poss I mean, it's a ladder match. I mean, it's going to be, you know, high it's spots. Kinda, right. You know, it's, it, that's always fun. It right. definitely could steal the show. Um, the fact that Daniel Bryan's in the match, a little kind of upset because, you know, it, he's, he should be more, he should be more interested in politicking to be in the main event. And I'm mad that he missed that opportunity, but this is what he has to deal with now. Well, you and, know what? Uh, to go back to the Daniel Bryan thing, honestly, the man had his push last year. He had the yes movement. He's not getting it again. Sorry. Next, ne ne next man up. That's the way it is. That's next the way it should up. be. Next man up. So he had his chance so last you're, year. So you're just like Vince. But, and, and but it's true, though. He had to push. Who has had a WrestleMania push in back-to-back -back years? Highlighting besides John Cena because we know he's the face. Who else has had a push back to back years? And the reason why you're upset too is because CM Punk never got his main event push. And that's why you're still here. You're, 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 you're upset about that. Listen, to be fair, Daniel Bryan is fine with this spot. He's I mean, not, I'm he, sure he is. He's, they're like, the only people who are complaining are the fans. The fans. Right. And that's the other problem I have is that because the fans are upset about something, all of a sudden, WWE has to change their script. They did that all thing last year just yeah, yeah. for him. And Daniel now Bryan, to do it again. Daniel you can't keep doing Daniel that. Daniel Bryan had a serious injury. To put, to put All him, right, well, to that's put fine. Him, to put him that's in a fine. ladder match? That's fine. That's fine. He's going to be in the ladder match. And again, and, he's, and, definitely, he's liable to get injured again. And final, final points and final thoughts for post-WrestleMania and any other match I forgot to highlight. Cena versus Rusev, I really don't care for. Hey. I'm sure you don't care for Cena, so... To wrap up the segment, why don't you got? I don't get that at all. I don't well, care for Cena. The Cena hate. It's not Cena hate. It's just we're tired of seeing them, honestly. I'm why? Excited. Why? I'm the excited. man hasn't won a pay-per-view match in 2015. I don't get where the hate, like, oh, he doesn't. Uh, the man's been on top for 12 years. I mean, I think it's time for him to just hang it up. Possibly. Well, honestly. you know what? Ron doesn't really care about the project anymore. He just watches, and he just did us a favor by showing up here. And I appreciate that favor, Ron, and thank you for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. It's been a pleasure joining you guys. Right here, right? Right. On the show. Yeah. And uh, please continue to support the Sports Hit List. Go out, log on to YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. We also have a blog. Thanks for watching.